Okay. All right, we look good from our angle. Hey, everybody, it's Guardians of the Realm. Season one, this is like episode five now, I think. Is that right? Four? Yeah. Episode five. Awesome. So, how's everybody? Uh, I know we had a rough few days for El Paso there, Sally. Yeah, we'd rather not talk about that, please. All right, we will not talk about that. Um, so, but yeah, so when we left off last week, as you see in the bottom corner, we were at the Raiders camp. Um, you had successfully, I guess, uh, survived the attack on the village of Greenest by the kobolds and cultists of the Cult of the Dragon. You struck a pact with a blue dragon to look for the blue dragon eggs that he thought was somewhere near the cult's camp. Uh, you also are looking for a monk, a harper monk, uh, who is supposed to have been captured by the uh, cult during the raid on Greenest, and you have successfully found the camp, and you have successfully come up to this top edge. Uh, before we go on, let's have each of you take a moment to introduce yourselves and your characters to everybody. Uh, we'll start in the top left. By me. Dang. Yes, Hothead. Um, <laughs> hi. Uh, hello, I am Hothead, or Nick, depending on whatever you want to call me at the moment. Uh, and I am playing Aldrin, the Dragonborn Paladin of Bahamut, who is currently hunting down the Cult of the Dragon to avenge his dead wife. Awesome. And Squatch, tell us about yourself quickly and your character. Yeah, I'm Andrew or Real Squatch. Um, I'm playing Renas, the wild elf druid who's on a quest to preserve and protect nature. Do I have any more camera angles? Is that all I got for today? Okay. All right, Sally, tell us about yourself and your character. All right, cool. Hi, I'm Sally, otherwise known as Lady Foxheart, and I play the character of Vivian Belladonna, who is a pompous hunter from a wealthy family who seeks revenge from the monsters who captured her, hoping to free herself from the psychological baggage of the experience. Deep storytelling. Yes. All right, and Burn, tell us about your dwarf and yourself. Hey, it's Burn. Uh, I just am Burn everywhere. Uh, I'm playing Carrick Tribeard, the uh, dwarven now uh, College of Swords bard. Uh, yeah. Seeking, he's out seeking, uh, you know, fame and fortune for his family name, and maybe finally found this Harper guy that he's been after for a little while. <laughs> Let's see if we can bring joy. So, using the Adventure League rules, I think have y'all all made level three now? Yeah. 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 So you want to tell everybody in the stream kind of what upgrade... Level 3 is a big level in D&D. What kind of uh, choices did y'all make for each of your characters? Y'all can talk in any order. Uh, right. I'll go first. I am... Um, Aldrin's uh, oath he swore uh, is an oath of vengeance. Uh, so I gained things such as channel divinities, where I can abjure enemies or uh, give myself advantage on one enemy. Uh, every short or long rest. Um, I also got Hunter's Mark and uh, Shield of Faith from Ooh. that as well. As well as some more hit points and five more HP to my lay on hands. That is always super important for sure. Yeah. Alright, uh, Squatch, what did you do with level three? Um, well, since I'm a druid, I get my big thing at level two. So I took um, the uh, moon druid but I got second level spells, so that should be fun. Anything fun at second level? Um, right now I have uh, Moonbeam Pass Without a Trace and Healing Spirit. All very fun concentration spells. Oh, yeah, I always remember. I've, I've got to remember in combat to knock your concentrations off, you casters. Uh, Sally, what'd you pick up at level three with your ranger? Uh, with my ranger, I picked up uh, Monster Slayer uh, nice. as the archetype. And with that, it gave me an additional magic spell for like protection from um, evil and good. Uh, several additional uh, archetypes from there was like a Slayer's Prey with, and uh, one additional magic spell, I believe, and that was uh, Zypher's Strike. Cool. And Burn, what did you end up with? Oh, yeah, like I mentioned, the College of Swords. Uh, I can finally wear medium armor, so my AC will fit the actions that I choose to take while playing. Um, <laughs> Good. 
And uh, I can turn invisible now. That's what I'm most looking forward to. <laughs> so. And what's the nice. uh, sweet invisibility? And how will people detect you when you're invisible? Like what are the uh, mechanics? The, what are the game mechanics? Probably the bagpipes will give me away, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, invisibility reads: it's a concentration spell, lasts up to an hour. Uh, creature that I touch. Uh, will be invisible until the spell ends. Anything the target is wearing is also invisible. Uh, and the spell ends... Oh, well, that's all it reads. So I guess I'm invisible. <laughs> uh, I guess visual perception would be uh, taken down, but uh, if I make any attacks or actions, uh, I lose invisibility. Uh, mostly it's going to protect me from other spellcasters and maybe it'll help me with a little sneaky sneak. You're also invisible to dark vision, right? Uh, yeah, it's also invisible to dark vision. That's right. true. Good. But not true sight or tremor sense and those. You could just close your eyes, blind them up, and if I can't see them, they can't see me. <laughs> right. Try exactly. that. We'll, we'll roll for that. All right, so yeah. you left off uh, last week. You had reached the camp. Let's see if I can put the big picture of the camp up. Um, this is the raider camp. You are uh, have kind of checked it out from the circumference, and you see all these tents. There's like a lower level, which seemed to be a little bit more kobold action. You also had what you think you identified was a possible prisoner's tent. You also saw the two guard towers. There's these cave. It's like it looks like some cave entrance right there. And there's also what looks like some tents for the leadership uh, near the near the tents to the cave. Um, so why don't y'all uh, tell us what y'all want to do or what y'all y'all want to make a plan and let's see how it how you can execute it. Good luck. Because what what are your objectives? What are your objectives in this encounter? I just remember we have to go ahead and get the uh, find the dragon eggs that are current that are probably inside one of the tents where the where the higher up is at, and that's all I can definitely remember from last week. <laughs> and ideally, get the prisoners from Greenus. Yes, that's right. Okay, so prisoner rescue, find the eggs, and. That's a lot to do when this camp is covered up in cultists. As if you remember, I think we estimated approximately 200 bad guys are in this camp. Um, yep. so even at level three, that would be a bit of a challenge. So I suggest friendly you, DM you advice, don't get caught. Yeah. yeah. Good advice. Yeah. Well, see you guys. I'm out of here. <laughs> so we left it with y'all being on the south ridge of this raider's camp, and y'all were going to figure out a plan of action of how you want to do A lot of options from trying to sneak in to try to bluff your way in uh just attack if you want to i mean come on we can we can roll new characters i mean uh we can see what happens <laughs> well i'm giving that to you guys i think that stealthing along uh definitely a good idea and i thought were we waiting till nightfall it is night now. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's night. Yeah, just as uh, night fell is where we stopped last week. Yeah, I think we were going to look for look in the cave for the eggs. Was that what we were doing? The caves? If I remember correctly. Yeah. Like it's good yeah. for temperature wise. Yeah. For sure. We we had learned some information about how the eggs are generally incubated. They need to be cool sometimes, warm sometimes, and Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember what exactly. No, the caves are are probably the best, yeah, you would think are your best uh, option or best possibility for where the three or the dragon eggs could be. Do y'all even know how many eggs it is? I, I think I just gave it away, but... Roughly 100 is what I... <laughs> Roughly, yeah. Somewhere around there, probably. No, I'm I'm unsure. Yeah, I don't recall. Like, nope. unsure. I don't know that the dragon mentioned how many eggs it was, so that may come up later if you don't know you have them all or not. We'll see. Mm. So, well, you would think they would all be together, right? So here's hoping. <laughs> so if you look at the picture, the cave entrance that you can see down the uh, from where y'all are above it, it has a it's a broad entrance. It's real tall. Uh, it looks. I've, actually, even as night has fallen, it looks busy. 
Uh, there's you definitely see kobolds and cultists coming in and out of the cave entrance occasionally. Um, and as you watch, the most interesting thing is that it looks like furniture and perhaps living type equipment is being moved into the cave from that largest tent that's outside the cave. Uh, let me see if I can use my mouse so y'all can see this on the picture. So this tent, which is what y'all think are the leadership uh, people, and then you have the cave entrance. As you watch, you see cultists uh, and even some kobolds carrying what looks like uh, parts of a bed, parts of a table, parts of a chair, things like that, like furniture type items, and even some packed looking bags into the cave. That is very interesting. <laughs> I have no idea what to do at this at this moment. Yeah, I'm I'm struggling too. So, well, uh, I guess that means invisibility time. Um, huh? Possibly. Did we want to verify what the is in the leadership tent, or uh, well, what would be the best way to get all of us in that we can think of? Um, we do have our disguises, also. Um, we are I don't disguised. Know how up. Yes, yeah. you are currently disguised. Now, Against granted, the leadership of the camp. You do have a drow dark elf with you, and she shows up here in a minute. She's running late, and you have a dragonborn. Those are kind of kind of uh, easy. To, like notice if your leadership well, like I, I, I do look like one of them. Yeah. Yeah, we painted him. I, well, I mean, they, they, they painted me blue. They painted you blue. Okay. Ah, yeah. blue. Da ba dee da ba da. Uh, we we had a uh, Carrick roll a disguise kit check, I think, or yes. just you or just used it to help me with some paints and have like a little foam horn on the end. I just mean there is a danger element that. You oh, guys may not be as uh, blending into the crowd as you would hope. Maybe you will. I'm not saying yeah, you will. Just adding an element of, of danger to what crowd. you're doing. But uh, we kind of have. Um, uh oh. Uh -oh. Really lose somebody. Yep. Go ahead. I'll keep it on this camera while I'm trying to fix everything. Sure. Or actually, the picture camera is the best. Um. I say. Uh, uh, we could come down like the sides a little bit. It'd be a little slippery. It looks like it might take a little little dexterity to make it uh, into the pit, sort of. Yeah. Mm. I mean, there's also the large entranceway at the front uh, tower. You could just walk in, disguised. Or you could try to sneak down the side of the of these sloping cliffs and work your way in the camp that way uh could we do one more rotation just to see if there's maybe a side entrance a little a little less um avenue like yeah well yeah there is a deeper crevice if you look uh on the east i think this is yeah northeast part of the area there is a deeper crevice that you could probably sneak down and hope you don't get noticed by that Guard tower. We can do yeah, that. we. Eh, let's do that. All right. All right. We don't have anything else we can think of at the moment. I like your idea. Let's go with it. Okay. Hey. Any other thoughts before we take that course? Mm, nope. If that's what we're doing, I'm going to go ahead and cast Pass Without a Trace on us. Good. That will help. That'll help. <laughs> I think that gives a plus 10, right, to y'all's stealth check? Yep. That's going to be helpful. <laughs> oh, it will be. Especially so, because I have, like, zero stealth bonus. Yeah. I have disadvantage at it, so. So other than I the activity at the cave entrance, where they seem to be loading kind of furnishings into the cave, uh, the rest of the camp really settles down. Uh, like I mentioned last week, you see... Some small fires, some cooking, a lot of people turning in to go to sleep. Uh, the guard towers are occupied, though, so let's make a stealth check. Um, and I know y'all are going to take your time and be stealthy, and you're not rushing. So, 
Ooh. Everybody give me plus, a stealth check. Plus wow. 10, everyone. Okay, yeah. that's going to be helpful. I did. Uh, Surprising yeah, as well. So, I did a... I, I wrote a 1, but that gave me a 6. So... <laughs> So plus 10, 16. It's yeah, not bad. 16. I just need everybody uh, I to have 15 a, or higher. Um, Did anybody get lower than 15 after adding no. the modifier? No, I got 25. No. Okay. As long as everybody got a difficulty check, 15 passed. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> what were you worried about, Sally? It's because I rolled a 3 at first, and then the plus 10, and then the plus 5. It's like, uh, all right, cool. <laughs> good. I don't know if y'all would do well to fight this large. Okay, so y'all are here in this deep crevice, and what do you wish to do? And what y'all's marching order? I'll assume that the drow elf's in the back, and hopefully she'll show up tonight. Yeah. She told us she was going to be late. So. Yeah. I'll probably be in the back with the drow elf as well. Okay, the ranger's at the back. Uh, I'll, uh, be I'll be up front. front. Yeah. As I do. Yeah, I don't mind uh, being towards the front, I guess. Okay. So, as you walk through the crevice, you almost trip over a sleeping kobold. Who wakes up a little bit and says, What are y'all doing back here? He looks like he doesn't want to wake up. He wants to go back to sleep. Why, we, we were... We were, uh, you know, exploring a little bit. Okay. He rolls back over like he wants to go back to sleep and ignores y'all. <laughs> yeah, our cameras are still a little messed up on the screen. God's, God's bless kobolds. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get the cameras fixed since we are missing a caller now in our Discord chat. It messes up all the cameras. I don't know what happened to... Our volunteer who called in to fill that spot. All right, y'all just give me a moment then, and we will be right back while I fix the cameras. After these messages. <laughs> <laughs> nice to be right back, son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man. You have so much HP, Carrick. Jesus. Wait, how much yeah. does he have? He's got 30. Yikes! More than yep. me. Uh, when when I get my medium armor upgrade the next time we're near a town, I'll, I'll be pretty pretty hefty. I mean, Tank hey, bar. Might, we might find some armor here that'll uh, help. He's out. a he's a beefy boy. Geek bard. Oh, hey, we're back apparently. Oh, are we? Ah, I thought we yeah. were on the. Be right back. Nope. Nope. No. That's only one I've ever played. Oh, you, 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 you children! I think we're live again. I'm, I'm a little. Old. Yep, we're live. How's that look to everybody? Looks okay to me. Looks good. Okay. Fabulous. That took a lot of effort on on the fly to to fix our cameras, but we got them fixed now. And if, adapt, overcome. Yep. And if she comes <laughs> back, I'll have to fix a steam lab. All right. So why don't y'all talk through now that you've tripped over the kobold and he went back to sleep, and you'll have a moment. For the audience at home, why don't y'all talk through some of the stuff y'all were just talking through off, offline, while I try yeah. to fix this Steam Lab stream deck. We, we hope to grab the eggs and get out, without fighting two hundred cultists and kobolds. That is the goal. That's the general goal. Well, our first goal should be this uh, tower. Maybe we should check out how they alarm others and disable that somehow. Accurate. Ooh, that Probably, like, make our getaway and find, find an exit for it. Well, I like this crevice. Well, crevice I mean, is home. Yeah, but, I mean, like, outright, Fair. like, all right, well, there's no one going to be here to figure out how to dismantle it, so might as well go right. through it. Exactly. Indeed. Cool. All right. Oh, Onward, sneaky, mm -hmm. sneaky. Yep, we're sneaking. Sneaking around. Yep. All right, there is a work detail, an overnight work detail being formed, and you guys have walked up at just the wrong moment, and they are asking y'all to participate in the overnight work detail.
to the dark occultist guys that look like bossy guys are, hey, you guys, come here. What do you do? I've got I've got work for y'all. Well, of course. Uh, what? How? How may we help? I grunt. <laughs> grunt. <laughs> um. All right. So we've got to chop a lot of potatoes before we move out in the morning. So we got potato chopping to do, and we got to clean up after the animals and get them ready to go for the trek tomorrow. Oh, okay. The the trek tomorrow. Where exactly are we going? Oh, you haven't heard anything? <laughs> well, We've been busy uh, taking care of other animals. Oh, uh, we're done here. It's time to go. We're headed out. We can't, we're packing this whole camp up and leaving in the morning. Oh, you don't say. Well, uh, well, uh, let's get to those potatoes then. Yeah, yeah. potato peeling time. And sure enough, there is a large table here at the corner uh, in the pick. I'll show you with the mouse. Y'all are in this little area here. You have come in the back side of the kitchens, kind of, where they prepare all the food for the camp, especially for the cultists and the humans and the leaders. And there are two large tables with a uh, two large mounds of potatoes, and they put you to work cutting potatoes. Do we have any supervision while we're doing it? No, there are two other kind of more normal-looking cultists that are also cutting potatoes with you that you can talk to. All right, I'm going to talk to those guys. Great. Praise TMS Glory. And oh, out, TMS Glory. They extend their right hand with fingers outstretched like this, yeah. which by now you five. know represents the five heads of Tiamat. I, I wave back. <laughs> All right, uh, you two fellas look like you've been at this for a while. You want to take a break? No, we just started. What do you mean? I mean, do you want to, like, you know, do you got, like, a little vial of whiskey or something that you'd like to get? Wink, wink. <laughs> uh, we're fine. We're cutting potatoes, and they just keep working. They look bored, and they don't, and they look tired. Um, Why don't you head to bed? Are you going to call these potatoes for us? Yeah. 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 Well, the guy and the girl look to each other, and they're like, Okay. Let's, let's, how do we know you're not going to screw us over? Well, I'm going to use magic to cut all of them very quickly. Oh, I want to see this. All right. I'm going to do some press digitation. <laughs> and I'm going to peel one potato, but I'd like to cause three times the noise. Three times the noise? Yeah, so like uh, the pilling, I want like a, a very loud version of the pilling going on. I'd like some chopping going on. And yeah, exactly. And uh, maybe some like stuff rustle, you know, smacks on the. T and then I'm just going to put on a show to make it look like I'm like cutting potatoes like crazy. They're amazed by it. Biting my tongue. One of the, yeah, and the one of them, the, the girl says, oh, I got to go get my friend to see this. And she wanders oh, no, off no, into the darkness. Don't wake anyone else up. We need all our energy for the trip tomorrow. And he's like, well, if you're going to get all these potatoes peeled, then I'm going to bed. It's a long, we had a yeah, long journey good. tomorrow. Yeah. Go do that. Get some bed, get some rest. See you on tomorrow. All right. So the noise can last for an hour. I say we just all go now. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, I can't believe that actually well, worked. Do, do they leave? Yes. Fantastic. Good job. I don't want to cut any more than one potato. <laughs> I was just... We continue on our way. All right. Oh, my God. All right, so... So, going to the picture, you are here where these tents are the kitchens. And I know y'all are got a plus 10 to your stealth for an hour, so let's make another round of stealth checks. Um, you only need a 10, so only you only fail this if you roll a 1. Because no one's paying you any attention. They think you're cutting the potatoes. I, I do not roll a 1. Okay, just don't roll a 1 right now. 32. Jesus. Nice. Well, I rolled oh my, my first row was a 1, and then I got a... I am the knight. Yeah, I'm 35. I am the knight. Unnatural 20. 
Christ. Carrick's in a different game right now. What did you roll, Carrick? <laughs> 35. Okay. Oh. You, uh, you have <laughs> not been caught by the chef sneaking off before the oh, potatoes what? are cooked. Oh, there was a chef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you, going back to the picture now, so you are here, if you see where my mouth is, and what do you want to do? You've passed the kitchen, you you kind of, uh, you have your way of the camp right now, you, you could get stopped at any time and someone could talk to you, but what do you guys want to do? You're down in the camp and no one's paying you any attention, just what you wanted. I mean, I think our main goal is to get into that cave, right? Well, let's go take a peek at the cave, I think, it, unless somebody else has something else they'd like to do at this point. I agree, but let's hug the wall, like yeah. you know, the cliffside. Yeah. So you see someone who is uh, very interesting looking, and I will show you his picture. Oh, God. I know. Let me find his picture. You there see you this go. guy. Did he come oh, up? My. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> what is that? That looks like a mage of sorts. Uh-oh. It's okay, they squish it. Yes, he is in a very intense conversation with... Nope, nope, him. Nope, nope, nope. Where's my pictures? Mm. With... This person. The woman <clears throat> in the purple robes. Does this look like the dragon lady? That, that was, uh, she led the attack. Oh, did y'all like see her at the attack? I can't remember if y'all ever saw no. her. No. Okay. We just we found out just her name, told... though. Prulam Mondarth or something like that? So this is definitely a prime suspect because her robes are very ornate and she does she definitely she definitely holds herself out as a leader type. Um, you kind of get that vibe from her as she's in a deep conversation, an intense conversation with Where'd he go? Him. The dude in red. Hmm. I don't like that. Uh, he looks very intimidating. We, can we overhear what they're talking about? If I'm you want to try to... Back. You can try that if you want to to stealth... You try to stealth closer to them without being noticed. Mm. Well, but this is a risk. I mean, this, these, these do not look like people you want to be tangling with. Yeah, that's let's not get too greedy. But what they're talking no. about does seem very interesting. Yeah, it does. But living is also interesting. <laughs> living is more interesting than being dead. I agree. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dungeon Master. Uh, let's, I'm a wealth let's... of wisdom here. You are. Let us let us advance, though. Sadly, I will not partake in their con conversation. At least me. I don't speak for all of us. Okay, so y'all are able to get by them. You notice some smaller cave entrances here before you get to the main entrance, but they don't look used. At, they don't look uh, important as you kind of peek into what, what is there. You don't see anything other than this really large cave entrance where it looks like a, uh, a big bag of belongings are being carried into the cave entrance by a little kobold slave dude. Who does not look happy about it? He's so muttering he's to carrying, himself. Is he like dragging a huge bag of shit behind him? Well, imagine him bent forward, and it's more like on his back and shoulders. Like he—he's more like a pack mule-looking kobold. Does does he see us? He does, but he pays you no attention as he works his way into the cave. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna go pick up his pack. Help him out a little bit. I was I was thinking the same thing. Well done. All right. What is everybody else doing? Whoa, wrong button. I'm just gonna be observing. Okay. Just nonchalantly make my way towards the main cave. Well, that's what I'm asking. Are y'all all going with him to help with the the heavy bag the kobold's carrying? Are y'all uh, staying back? I imagine or? I imagine Carrick and Aldrin can take care of that while the rest of the party just kind of like slicks back a bit. Yeah. All right, well, on the Roll20 screen, I'm going to put y'all on oh, no. where we are. <laughs> if I can find it, Never. there it is. 
Never good if the roll 20 mask when you pull it out. Oh, I don't know. Don't be like that. Who knows? Okay, so reveal you know. area. So this is all revealed for sure. It's the land of make believe. Indeed. Hmm, why is it not revealing? Yeah, some parts are. It's modest. Let me hit the reset, the fog. Still didn't do anything. What do y'all see on your screen? On your roll 20 screens? Darkness. Darkness. Mm. There's part of it. Oh, did something come up? up? Like a small little rectangle on the left. Oh, good. It's weird it's not showing on my screen like that. Let me see if I can change the opacity of the... <sighs> well, I'll have to guess. As long as you can see the entrance. So y'all can see the entrance to the cave now? I'm assuming that's the entrance. Uh, to the, I yes. believe so. Now you can see more of it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. No. No, it's just a... Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's a... Uh... Yeah. Like, I think it's just more laggy on my screen. Yeah, I'm frustrated that it doesn't show for me... I'm playing with it right now, trying to get it to... Hmm. Oh well. I will one day be a master of Roll20, but it's not today, apparently. I can't get it to show what I've revealed. Anybody know how to do that? Nope. Mm -mm. I don't know what a roll 20 is. All right, well, I'll Google it later. All right, we lost Nick. Is he coming back or? Somewhere. So the kobold seems very appreciative of your help in carrying the bag. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Anything you want to talk to the kobold about before carrying the bag for him? Yeah, um... Hey, uh, five tier mates. Um, do you know where the dragon eggs are being stored at the moment? We've been tasked with uh, cleaning. Yes. Dragon eggs. I mean, they're way back in the caves. Way back in the caves. Oh, well, that's all we needed to know. Um, I thought are. you were helping me with my bag. I got to carry this for the dragon lady. Oh, of course you do. Uh, we'll help you get a little ways in. We just were wondering where to go. If you tell us where to go, we can just take it for you. Oh, follow so you me. Can get some rest. All right. Well, sh the little kobold says, "Follow me," and sure enough, you go. Let me see if I can reveal more area. Is more opening up on your map? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Uh, just frustrated. I can't see what y'all are seeing. Okay. Should have like a gray outline on roll twenty for you. I know, but it's it's you can see when you look at the stream later, it's not it's not showing what's being revealed as I reveal it. Uh I see. Uh, oh. Alright. Anyway. Alright, so as you can yeah. see from where I've revealed on roll twenty the kobold takes you uh, into the, and I'll read you the descriptions. Right, um, you pass by two of the dragon claw guards. They eye you suspiciously, but y'all are with the kobold and you are carrying the bag, so that's what they expect you to be doing. So I'm not going to have them um, do anything about it. As you come in, uh, you kind of bear to the right, as you see, and you find. A passageway that's concealed. This is actually a concealed passageway. Um, 
is deeply shadowed and hidden by a cleverly cut fold in the rock. Um, and yeah, as you step down in this care carefully concealed area, you get to a guard's barracks. The passageway cuts to the right and cuts to the left. The kobold takes the left one and walks right through a guard's barracks. Uh, you are walking through, carrying the luggage. Uh, there's three guards and two dragon claws and eight cultists. They're all either here, they're either sleeping or relaxing and definitely resting. Mm -hmm. um, they all eye you a little suspiciously, but again, they're, they're are expecting a lot of baggage to be taken through and furniture, so they don't say anything else about it. Um, <sighs> Somebody roll an active perception check. Just one of you. Somebody decide who it is. All right. Uh, 15 plus 5. Non natural 20. Nice. Okay. You notice one of the guards' scabbards is decorated. Um, they're, they're all decorated with like dragon motifs, and they look expensive, like they're worth something. Um, but they don't look like they're part of the Cult of the Dragon uniform. You haven't seen these scabbards anywhere else. Um, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's like different embroidery or emblems than the general yeah. Cult of the Dragon. Uh, probably a lot nicer. Yeah. Is his mic low for anyone else? No. Nick? Uh, no. My mic? Yeah, for some reason Nick is low in my headset. Oh. Everyone else sounds good though. Maybe I'm it's sorry. my headset. Let me try the other. Everyone sounds fine to me. You could probably turn me up a little bit if you'd like. Oh no, I think it was just for some reason that earbud. Okay, all right. Um, so you move around here to what's marked as eleven on the map. Do y'all see that? No. Uh, wait a second. I don't see a number. Okay, maybe I'll, it's not numbered on the player. Can you ping? Um, Can you, like, on the selector tool, just, like, click and hold? Yeah, I don't see anything there. Ah. Am I pinging? I can see the ping, but not the number or anything. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah. It's a rectangle yeah. room with a little hook at the top. Yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's the room the kobold takes you into, and sure enough, there's a lot of furniture has been moved into this room. Um, it has not been set up yet, though. The it, You definitely see what could be a writing desk, a stool, several tables, book, stacks of books like on the floor with papers, and uh, there's a mirror that uh, needs to be stood up, but it's on its back right now. There's two oil lit lamps that are not lit. Uh, there's a thick rug, but it's, it's all rolled up like it hadn't been unrolled yet. Um, Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll drop the stuff oh, off then. Oh, so our draw is here. Oh, great. All right, we'll, we'll be right back on the stream as we set the cameras up. Take a quick break. <laughs> okay, we are back after that quick break to add Woo. Ash, our drow, our drow, drow <laughs> to the group. <laughs> drow, drow. Here, let me play with your camera while you're talking. So, Ash, uh, <laughs> Introduce yourself back to the stream. You were new last week, and tell us a little bit about your character you're playing. Hi, hello. My name is Ash Shadowheart, and I am playing Mayasa. She is your drow rogue, and I was able to play her in some Adventures League sessions over the weekend. Oh, good. So she is officially up to snuff with the party, and she is officially a mastermind. Ooh, mastermind. I like it. So after, um, now that we're all level three, we're going to go to the slow leveling rules, which is it takes twice as long to level because there's a lot of wonderful content we have to play both in this campaign book and some of the other Adventure League campaign books. And for us to, for, for us to get a full year season out of it, it's going to be really hard to do that if y'all are leveling up really fast. So We level up every four hours like we're supposed to. Yes. Instead, we're going to level up every eight hours for to get to level four and then instead of six is it 16 to get to five normally and then we're gonna do 32 um, hours is this, I say no, it's, it's it doubles it normally. okay it doubles it 
after you get to five, is that when it doubles then? Yeah, because it starts out, because it starts out ego from in tier one, so levels two through four. It's every four hours you gain a level, and then five and up, it's every eight hours until you level. Cool. Under the new, under the new uh, ACP rules. There, I think your camera looks better now. I just fixed your camera a little bit. Good. Okay, great. So y'all want to catch up, uh, Ash, with what has happened since y'all got here to the Raider camp? And I'll put it on the big picture for her to see better. No. What did you do? <laughs> uh, what? Nothing bad, actually. Surprisingly, not yet. We've been doing very well. We've all succeeded our stealth checks. <laughs> We're, we're currently in the cave where we think the dragon eggs are being stored, which we were confirmed that they're being stored in the very back of it by a kobold that we currently are helping move furniture. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, seems about right. Real interesting stuff. We keep getting like suspicious looks, but then they're like, ah, they're doing work and in our robes. Neat. They, and... they look like they belong. And Ash, if you have a moment, you can log into the Roll20 also site so you can see the map of the caverns yeah. like the players do. What, what shenanigans are you guys up to today? And the news that they have also gotten is that the entire camp is leaving in the morning. Ah, so we yes. go quickly, don't we? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And that brings us to the room with the little cobalt. Yes. So you have come around to um, where the cobalt is taking all the luggage. They've been seeing furniture and luggage moved into the cavern, into the cave, and this is where it all has been going. So this chamber contains a desk, a stool, several tables, stacks of books with some papers. There's a mirror that's laying flat that needs to be set up, two oil lamps that haven't been lit yet, a really thick rug is rolled up. It looks like it'll cover uh, the completely cover the floor, but right now it's not. And so you can see an open chute in the far side of the room. Let's see if y'all can see. I don't know why my pings aren't working either. Let me try different layers. Yeah, you would have to be on like the token layer for us to see it. Let me try that. Or. Token there, I made a hey, ping. Hey, 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 look at me. Yay. So right here is a chute leading down. It looks like when the rug is going to be unrolled, it will cover that. But since y'all have gotten <laughs> here so quickly, you this little hole in the, in the room has not been covered up yet. Where does Whoa. that chute lead? Um, the small chamber to the north up here. Let me try my ping again. Yay, that chamber... You see pieces of a bed that needs to be assembled, and you also see a locked trunk. Uh, there's actually two locked trunks in here, in this room. The kobold kind of shuffles out of the room, leaving you alone in the room. Well, I guess we're supposed to put this stuff together, but I say we get in those trunks and take a trip down the little hole. <laughs> As the drow manifests from the shadows. <laughs> Right. <laughs> what you up to? Like, <laughs> uh, what's this? A lock? Pulls out lock picks. <laughs> Jesus. All right, where's my uh, bad hand? There is a question that I have that we need to answer. There, it looks like they're setting up a camp here, but they say they're moving out the big area. Do you think this is like for a, a little, a little um? remote area for them or setting up a setting up a franchise you'd say or something or just maybe the i know the rug is covering up a shoot why why the shoot why the rug well i'm gonna guess that's where the dragon eggs are because that keeps going deeper as he said uh, uh where they were located So where do y'all be more specific with what each character is doing at this time while y'all are looking through the room? Uh, I'll start assembling the furniture and shit. 
That was actually might have just saved your life. Okay, keep going. That's that's what I'm doing. I am poking through the chest like the nosy drow that I am. If you can get them open, you're gonna try to pick the locks, right? Okay, Whoa. we'll do that in a moment. Yeah. Sally, what's your character doing exactly? I guess I'm just keeping watch, making sure if uh, anybody's like coming by or whatnot, so I can easily alert people like, hey, people are coming by. Okay. So you watching the way y'all came in through the guard room? I suppose so, yes. Okay. Um, and Squatch. Yeah, how big is this chute? Okay, good question. On my map, it only looks like it is two squares, which would be, I think these are five foot squares, but let me see if I can find one. Here we go, equals five feet. Yeah, it's only, a t it's only 10 feet down until what looks like as you look down 10 feet, it's kind of like a sliding chute, like you could slide down, and it opens up into another small tunnel. I will open it on the map. Reveal area. There. Did y'all see more now? Yep. Great. I am going to spend a bonus action to wild shape into a spider, and I'm going to climb down the chute. Okay. Nice. Anyone going with you? I was also at the shoot. Uh, I, I'm gonna watch him, kind of amazed. He's a. As Aldrin's like assembling furniture, he looks around and goes, "Wait, let Ramis go." Okay. <laughs> um, oh. He... Before you. Before we do the Squatch part, though, Sally, while you've been watching, the lady in purple that we saw before is making her way through the guard room. She gets interrupted a few times by guards talking to her, but she is clearly about to come into the room. Relock right. that chest! <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and quickly alert the, the party. Like, hey, uh, dragon purple lady person thing is coming by. So, Ash, <laughs> let's roll to see if you... Um, Make a dex check to see if you pick the locks in time. All right. So I, I, I went ahead and rolled. Um, and it's going to be a 15 total to pick that lock. Great. All you needed was a 10. All Yay. right. So <laughs> these are not, not complicated locks. The You have a trunk containing what looks like clothing, perhaps for... Uh, it's a little bit feminine, traditionally considered feminine clothing. And the second trunk contains what looks like Cult of the Dragon Regalia. And there is a key in this chest. Uh, I like shiny, so I'm taking the key. The Regalia looks like the purple Regalia that the woman in purple outside was wearing. Should we all try to dive down the chute? They now would be a good time. Yes, <laughs> I'm gonna. Yeah, no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab the regalia and the key, slam the chest shut, and then jump down the chute. You gonna slam it, or are you gonna carefully close it? Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> then just wee. All right, and then uh, I guess uh, by the time everyone's going down the chute, I'm heading my way down that chute as well. Oh. Okay. Bye, dragon. So is everybody going down uh, the chute? Yeah, I guess. That seems to be the plan. Into the garbage chute, flyboy. Okay, solo. All right, so we are going to have this nice, encounter. Nice, nice quote. Yes, so on roll 20, you see this, we're in this, let me zoom in. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, you guys... Come face to face with Landorosa Cyanrath. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, hey! The dude that y'all just dueled the day or two before. I don't remember how long it took y'all to get to the camp. Just a day, right? Um, ah, crap. Yeah. So, but the good news is, is y'all kind of come up behind him. He looks busy. It doesn't look like he's paying y'all much attention. Uh, he will turn and see you right away, though. It's not like you can do anything. But let me read the description of this room to you. 
We are we are past without a trace. Correct. So I don't know if that helps us in this situation. Not really sliding down a chute. I was being hopeful. So this cave is a shrine to Tiamat. Uh, you see an emphasis <clears throat> on black dragons, though. So like, <clears throat> whereas there's a picture in, of uh, Tiamat, the black dragon head of Tiamat is more emblazoned and more artistic. It really pops and stands out. Huh. Um, you see many of the cults of the dragon's icons decorating this, what appears to be some kind of shrine or temple. Screams in Paladin. Yeah. There are <laughs> two, two... Internal screaming intensifies. Deus yeah. intensifies. Yeah. <laughs> there are two... Um, what look like berserker they're called berserkers humans um they got big old muscles yeah um big chonky muscles no cyan wrath turns to face your party mm -hmm. and says in like a happy excited voice yo survived i don't know whether to be disappointed or pleased it's a mix of both i think does he uh, recognize me even though I'm blue? Oh yes. So let me get Damn. let me get y'all some tokens and y'all can Damn. roll initiative. Hi. Uh -oh. Damn. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad, guys. Oh, hey man. Ash, remind me, you did take the key, right? That you found in the yes. chest. Might not be so bad. Yeah, I took I took the key and the regalia. So and I'm like quickly shoving them in my bag. Yes. Let me find you. No, when I when I hear um berserker. It doesn't exactly scream great to me. Let me do a little quick it's math fine. on the challenge rating. We'll it's fine. It, it's fine. We'll be fine. Bahamut it's fine. We're all just going to go wrong. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, Did you also roll it up? I don't know if my roll 20 is properly loaded or not. I'm being silly tonight. Silly goose. It's okay, Lou. Then my then my co-star ran away. All right. <laughs> I'm I'm very sad about my initiative roll. I guarantee you, mine's worse. <laughs> Mainly because you have nice dexterity. Mine's bad for a rogue. Oh, that makes sense. Mine's pretty okay for a paladin, all things considered, honestly. Right. You got, you got, you I got, got 17. Good. I'm kind of hoping I can go first because I have a, a <laughs> zany. I, I, was, well, I was tempted to put my negative into dexterity because, you know, that's funny. But I was like, eh. Nah. Well, I got a 21, so. Hmm. You got 20. Uh, Shit. <laughs> hey, subtract a zero from your roll? That's what I got. So I just gotta find the last two character tokens. It's a strong two, though. It's a strong two. Have we used your druid on roll twenty yet? Uh, yeah. Get yeah. out on the pretty dice here, because I bought new dice. Yeah, yes, I'm I'm using did. like these real like sparkly purple. I remember ones. now. We had a we had some combat along the way. I need to get some like Bingo. silver or platinum themed dice. Ranus for, and Mayata. Purple and white. Good. Uh, I finally got some. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I just recently uh, got some like super shiny metal dust. Usually they're kind of dull. They're like chromed out a lot. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty cool. I just realized Ramus is still a spider. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so if anybody cute. asked, Fight if him. anybody asked where you were, I was gonna say you were doing some leg work. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put Maya. Mayasa's in the back. Fuck. I'm going to put Vivian next. I'll put Aldrin in front of that. Carrick in front of them. And then Ronis the spider can be wherever in the front you want to be, but you're not noticed right now because you are... Perfect. Like, just crawl behind them and just revert back and attack them. Oh, my Womo. <laughs> yeah. Naughty. 
Are you are you a mood druid? I think we yep. established this. Yeah. My brain just doesn't work. Carrick, what's your initiative roll? Seventeen. Solid roll, my man. All right. And Ayasa, are you twenty three? No. <laughs> no. Uh, I got a six. 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 What was, you, but then what are your modifications to that? Uh, well, no, I rolled a three. <laughs> I have a plus three to my deck. Aldrin, I told you, mm -hmm. it is bad for a rogue. Aldrin, what's yours? <clears throat> Two. After modification, you rolled a natural one? Two. No. Two. Oh, okay. Ronis? Twenty. Woohoo! Two, and that's all she wrote. And Vivian? Twenty-one. Oh, nice. Oh, my. And then I'll put the berserkers on here. Oh, and I'm going to roll some initiative. All right, here is... Are we, are we supposed to be seeing something? Yeah, yep. I don't see the tokens on the... I don't see uh, any tokens or anything. Oh, okay, hold on. Hey, good news for y'all. Landa Rosa hey! rolled a natural hey! one. Yeehaw. We don't add Get modifications it. to that. And then the Berserkers rolled a nine. I'll have to see if they have any bonuses for their decks. They do, so they have a 10. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Now, let me see why y'all can't see anything. Are you on the map layer or the DM layer? I am on the objects stuff? and token layer. Are we on the same map that you're on? Yes. Okay. I will double check. Yeah. I'll say, because like, I thought my roll 20 was broke there for a second. Because I'm like, yeah. I see nothing. Nothing. Now I'm wondering is, should I just stay in the back with the arrow, or should I just go up 1v1 with the uh, with the two swords? Uh, I think the arrow is probably nice, so you don't uh, get in within that sweet, sweet breath weapon. Uh, yeah, you see gotta... the tokens now. No. Nope. I just turned on see all tokens. Are the tokens specifically in a different layer? They are. I'm right clicking on them. They're in the token layer. Wow. And you've got it. So I I'm mean, gonna got I'm it. gonna refresh my roll twenty and see if that helps. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Likewise. Ah. Do y'all see them wait. now? Wait. No. <laughs> We're loading. Wait. We're hatching I dragons. See, I see the turn order. Okay. I don't see tokens. Is it? Are they in the fog of war? Is that why we can't see them? I mean, y'all see the cave that y'all said you could see the cave that you went down the hole in. Yeah, yeah. I, yep. I can see out to like here. And you don't see the tokens that are right here and here. I'm waiting for mine to load up. It's, for some reason, it's taking forever today. Uh, it's just you can still see the map, but not our tokens or anything like that. Yeah. Like portion of the map is like taken over. Actually, I wonder if I can make do like a screen share like really quick. Well, no, just pop over to the pop over to the the Twitch stream and you can see what you're supposed to be seeing. Okay. Damn, these are hiding in the void. Damn it, Dora. There, that's what you're supposed to be seeing. Yeah, we don't see that. Where? Whoa. That looks way different from what we're seeing. That's weird. Yeah, we it's, definitely um, don't see that. Like the area sure. looks right, but hold up. Yeah, like uh, I can see, you... I can see the map, but it's all grayed out. When you hover over this like particular map, is the red bookmark here as well? Because there, there's a red bookmark that represents the players. Yes. Okay. Wow. See, look, I will scroll yeah. up and show you. Um, yeah, we're not seeing any of that. No. So weird. I only have one dragon hatchery map. I don't have huh. a second one. Is it... Wow. Hmm. Yeah, we don't see any numbers or anything like that. Nope. It just it's looks like, like a dog really map. Yeah. yeah. And I can, like, 
I can only see, like, the turn order only has uh, Cyan Wrath and the, the Berserkers. Like, it doesn't show us at all. Yeah. Yep. Really? I have all... You yeah. can see, if you look at the stream, look, all y'all are on there. I see. Yeah, like, if you yeah. look at if you look on my screen really quick, you uh -huh. can see what we're seeing. Well, that's weird. Yeah, that's nothing like what you are showing us. <sighs> Technology. <laughs> this is a glitchy episode. Oh yeah. well, TOM. Did that help? No. Nope. Yeah, leave your screen up for me, Sally. Let me just look at that until I can... Yeah. So let's strategize. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, hit him Robert, really Robert hard. <laughs> hit him hit, really hard. Hit, hit Cyanra up really hard, really fast. Yeah, because whenever he goes, um, I have a feeling he's going to breathe on us. So we, should we, we focus to... on him or the Berserkers first? Yeah. Uh, him? All right, just him. Yeah. Cause, cause his, his breath weapon did 11 if I made the save. Yeah. Yeah, as so we uh, scatter and attack. Scatter, yeah, scatter and attack from all sides. I can lay down a fairy fire on them if you would like. Ooh. Which is also my favorite way to order hash browns. Mm -hmm. Scattered and attack. Yeah, I think. <laughs> What, what's the radius on fairy fire? 20 feet? Yeah, you can get all of them. The, yeah, it's like a 20 foot radius. Wow. Yeah. Then I guess if I get if I can get at a good distance without hitting anybody but him, uh, I'd probably do a hunter's mark and just wail with arrows on him. I my channel divinity can give me the option to just have advantage. You say which channel divinity did you take? I I took oath of vengeance. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, it made a lot of sense for for what the character was currently doing. Oh yeah. If we, were in a, if we were in a different place, maybe in a nicer part of the story, it might have been devotion. But, uh, <laughs> nah. 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 Mm. Nah, we, we, we go in damage, boys. Because, I mean, getting Hunter's Mark as a Paladin seems wild. Yeah. Yeah, the Vengeance Paladin is built so good. That's my favorite one. My favorite is, like... I love the flavor of conquest because it, it has yes. my favorite it has my favorite capstone. That's a good capstone, yeah. I, conquest I got to is use dope. It. I got to use it um, in a twentieth um, level one shot. Ooh. One time, uh, I was playing a tiefling paladin of the red uh, the red lady or the red knight, Ooh. and I basically had it flavored that. He had like red plate mail, and it became like the destroyer armor. If you remember the like destroyer from Thor, yeah. Where instead of the fire leaking out, it was just like blinding radiant energy and shit. Yeah, we we were fighting Zariel, um, and I I took her down in one turn. Oof. Okay. Speaking of, I mean, you know, season nine's about to the hit with the sit and two of Vernius. That's hype as I'm hell. I'm so excited. Like, the Nine Hells are so cool to me, and getting, like, an official book on that stuff, it's gonna be great. Did you guys see the, like, uh, live games about it? No. Mm -hmm. With with Jeremy Cropper and all of them? Yep. Mad Maggie. It's, it's gonna be fun. I do, I do also know that they're doing an event in Hell, Michigan. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Hashtag vote pip yep. Mm -hmm. Pip yep is dead. Welcome to hell. <laughs> but yeah, Paladin rode around on a griffin and the griffin got the killing blow on the archdevil. Which is hilarious. <laughs> This is the dance that we do when we wait for the technology to do work. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Work. Roll 20, why you being a bud? Yeah, so in an alternate universe, if I would have uh, went first, I think I was going to cast Charm Person on like two of them. Because <laughs> he already knows us. I'd have picked him hey. and one of the other berserk. Hey, little the berserker, let me whisper in your ear. We're friends, we're friends, right? Hey, this dwarf seems pretty cool. 
damn straight. They don't. They don't need a charm spell to think that. Kid. Like, like we'll beat up the uh, the dragonborn, but we'll make the uh, but we'll make the uh, berserkers our best buds. Yeah, and have them fight. Yeah, hundred we'll kobolds and cultists be, for we'll, us. We'll just we'll just take Steve and Dave, and, and it'll be fine. I, I know. I know. I know. Charm person won't like make them do anything yeah. that's harmful to them, which is sad. Because we could just be like, hey, go fight an army real quick. You need Crown of Madness for that. You can tell them to go... Which I, also wish, I wish that spell did a little more than just make a melee attack, and that's all. Because it could be so good if they were allowed to move. Like, Because they have to attack, and then that's... You can have the Berserkers cause a distraction in the process to make our escape with the eggs, too. Ooh. That's not bad. Like, I mean, two giant berserkers running around causing havoc. Everyone's going to focus on them, not us. <laughs> go, cause chaos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go, make, go, 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 go make some music in the center of the camp. Go. <laughs> Do your thing. But Kron don't know how to play. <laughs> it's okay. Just start smashing. Something. It doesn't. It doesn't matter if you can. You just have to have the heart and the spirit to do. This will okay. Be <laughs> it's not about being good. It's just about doing it. Okay. Ooh, they should recreate um, trash in the camp from Tarzan. Eh. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen Tarzan in years. It's so. Right. So when we gain the remake, the live action remake. No. Uh, please. technically we've already had it. Yeah, yeah it was bad. Uh, I liked uh, I it, but that. like nobody talked about it. So. <laughs> I thought it was pretty fun. I, I like that movie. Do it again. I I only saw. Granted, I say it's bad, but that's subjective because I didn't actually see the movie, so I can't have a real opinion on it. I didn't like what I saw from the trailer. I you, didn't. You I didn't, didn't like you didn't Tarzan. Like the concept. Yeah, I didn't like the the like ape army he had or something like that. <laughs> it was weird. Uh, it kind of it was a long one of the actual stories from Howard. Um, oh, so. Okay. Yeah, uh, I didn't mind it like... at all. They did they did super fantasy up like some stuff in the middle, but you know that was like during the height of the 3D action movie, so uh, that yeah, was kind. Right. So I think the easiest way for us to do is just look heavily on the Twitch screen, and we'll just probably work from there. That's fair. I, yeah. I don't imagine it'd be too hard. Yeah, I think we can theater the minded if nothing else. It's three yeah. of them, five. Oh, good. Yeah. Three of them, five of us, small room. Yeah, because I got to leave at exactly at seven. So They, like, they, they right. have a breath weapon. We don't. <laughs> They've got a breath weapon. We don't. Wait, you need well, a breath do, weapon Well, I do, but... <laughs> it's not a I real do, one. But, but it doesn't do, like, 28 points of damage. It's just him. Know. It's just him with a flashlight or a little torch that he just takes in his mouth when it happens. Hey, <laughs> all right, I got something. Rock, Look, I gargle ice. And I made one it. guy show up. Now, how do I do the rest of these? Oh, shoot. There's a person there. Maybe. What, what layer is he on? Can you control that guy, Carrick? Wait, did you put the map on the GM layer, maybe? Uh, I am recycling at the moment. Yeah, but say, I, I, I've got a tiny little itchy bitchy. Tiny little itchy bitchy. I can fear the mind that's like in a heartbeat. That's how I've always been playing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maps have been a recent thing for me. We don't need maps. Yeah, we need Just maps. Because I, as the DM, yeah. was always like, uh, how map do? Map do what, huh? How map do draw? I see three little dudes popping in. Hey! Hey, there we go. Oh, look. Oh, look. They're so He's cute. He's got it. Oh. Hey. They're gonna I can kill see us. them through the fog. <laughs> oh, those berserkers look Yeah. Good. It's just... Now it's all it is. It's just super gray. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, like the turn order is completely here gone. Um, I can see Aldrin now, but I can't... <laughs> but I can't be Aldrin. <laughs> How does... How does become the Aldrin? 
get See? really faithful really quickly. <laughs> All right, y'all see everybody? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why well, is the turnover? Oh, you can put the turnover where you want on your screen. Um, okay, can y'all interact with your tokens though? No. 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 Nah, everything's grayed out. Thaco twenty. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. When you come so far, but you. I miss one being a crit instead of a twenty. It, it. What? Well, back in the day, you wanted to roll low for Thaco. Oh. Yeah, that was uh, roll, that was a uh, second edition, no? Yeah. Well, advanced D and D some portions, and then second edition. Ah. Uh. Yeah, cause wasn't low armor class better? Cause I watched Matt Covell play net. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you wanted like a negative twenty. That means nothing it hits. Yeah, I remember. That's insane. I think full plate mail gave you armor class two. Yeah. Oh geez. man, that is so bizarre nowadays. Mm-hmm. And yeah, now you want the the big numbers. Well, Bigger I remember being a, I remember being a kid, and the first time I got the uh, Thaco wheel, it was like this like two part tool that you had to use to see if you hit. Her. Oh wow. Lots of charts. I'm gonna try, try re-roll. I'm gonna try just completely restarting my roll twenty because I've done that twice now. It's still been so I think, good. I, I think we could just continue, honestly. Yeah, yeah let's just let's like the yeah, map. Let's the map and stuff is, is amazing for visuals, we'll but see. we can we can just do theater. Am I, am I... Frank wants us to see the mistake that we made lining up like this. <laughs> and and we see it, we see it. And right we 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 understand the mistake that we have made. We we are delicious barbecue, is what we are. Yeah, I'm trying to figure this out, but okay. I'm gonna make sure I have the uh, the dragonborn with the with a high plate armor right in front of me, so I can use him as a shield. All right, we will do it theater of the mind because I can't even get this stuff to. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Let's Hell yeah. Roll 20 is not working for me tonight. It is no, this is so ridiculous. Yeah. Roll 20 needs some serious work on making it more user friendly because I've done everything I can possibly think to do to make this token layer crap work. Have you tried setting it to Wombo? <laughs> I've even set it to where all players are supposed to be able to see everything the GM can see. Weird. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do this fight. I got rad. All right. Randus the spider, you're first. Do this. I think. Well, I lost my other dudes, but I know they go after Carrick and before Mayasa in the initiative. Except I have an initiative of one on the main guy, so. so yeah. say, I think the berserkers had the berserkers had ten. Yes. Yeah. It's just not showing up right. Okay, let's play it. Let's do it. Do this. All right, Spider Man. What are you doing, Rhinus? Um, I'm going to move up to the dragon, uh, half dragon rather, and uh, try and bite his tail. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Oh. Okay. Oh, he's helping. <laughs> that is a seventeen. Oh. That is a hit. That's yeah. Sure you're not Black Widow. Now, what damage do I do? Spider bite. Is it like? Oh, it does one piercing, and I need a Constitution save from him. Okay. Ooh. I will still use roll twenty for the dice. Is us? So you need a con saving throw. His con is plus three. And what's the DC? Nine. Oh. He passes. Hmm. So what does that mean? Uh, nothing. He doesn't take any now. All right. Oh, you don't need to take one point of damage for piercing. He, yep, he took one piercing. Okay. And he felt he felt his tile get the bit, so he can't attack you now, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Carrick, you're up. You see the spider leap onto his tail and take a big bite of it. So dramatic. Uh, a small, a small munch. I guess what I'm going to do is Mess up. I'm going to draw two daggers because I have two Ooh. weapons fighting now. Ooh. And I'm going to 
kind of make my way up along the wall beside him to leave it open for everybody else to kind of like scooch in and hit him. Sure. Um, and then I'm going to take uh, my first attack with my main hand. Oh, couldn't, couldn't you use a rapier and a dagger? You could. No, they both have to be light to uh, oh. dual wield until you take the uh, feet. Oh, cool. Mm. Okay. Gotcha. Interesting. I've never played Drit. I've never played two weapon <laughs> fighters. <laughs> never played Drit. It wasn't that funny, but okay. All right, Carrick, roll your two daggers. I have a weird relationship with Drit Stewart, okay? We'll talk about it later. I surely hope so now. I'm going to say you that could... first one probably misses. Yes. You are Mayasa. <laughs> You're doing this on Cyan Wrath, right? Yeah, you said the half dragon. Yes, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I'm going to do my offhand attack. Good luck. Mess him up. Yeah! All right, so the reason why I separated those and didn't do them both at once, I'm going to use my new uh, flourish action. I'm going to do a defensive flourish, and I'm going to add 1d6 to the damage roll, and that roll also is added to my AC for the round. Ooh. Ooh. That's fancy. Yes. Man, you're going to be quite, quite the tanky bard. How about the? All right, roll some damage. Three damage. That's one damage. Oh. All right, so the damage is going to be four total, but I do have one to my AC. Oh, that was a little anticlimactic. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to exaggerate. Yeah. That was a little anticlimactic for what we had hoped it was about to happen. I got my new toy and it, it and it fizzles a little bit. Yeah. But that's what that's my turn. You put the batteries in there. Okay. All <laughs> right, so the two berserkers are just uh, are really unsure of what's happening. Um, Yeah, so because they they heard the interaction, they weren't facing it. They turn, and I'm gonna give them a round of confusion before they engage y'all next turn. <clears throat> Fantastic. Yep. Okay. So we are on Mayasa. By Good the way, did you guys skip me? Vivian, I've got you as a five on the initiative. Is that wrong? That is way wrong. Okay. I rolled a 21. Oh, we did skip you then. Vivian, you're up. Yeah. It's like, something's not right here. No. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cast uh, Hunter's Mark mm -hmm. on, the, uh, on uh, the guy that's right in front of us. Okay. Uh, let me find that damn spell. Land Rosa. Land Rosa, Rosa yes. Lang de, ro Lang de, de Rosa. Lion rat. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm cast the uh, hunter's mark on him. Uh, choose a creature within speed range. Uh, until the spell ends, deal an extra one d six damage to the target whenever uh you hit it with a weapon attack, and I have advantage on any wisdom, perception, or survival checks you make to find. It. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and then attack with my uh, with the longbow and hope that works. Shocking. Hey, Carrick, this isn't our Shadowrun game right now. <laughs> That's awesome. I just noticed. Okay, that is definitely probably going to hit. That's a 17 plus 7. It's a hit. All right. And the damage is a 1d8 plus 3 plus another 1d6. Right? Okay. Yeah. As long as I can get the dice out of the box. <laughs> All right, so... That is a 3 plus 3, so that's a 6, plus the 1d6 from the uh, Hunter's Mark. 1. So I did a total of 7. 7 damage. Yeah. yeah that's, that's damage. Is that your whole turn? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of single digits. Honestly. Yeah. I didn't roll too good. What is Shadow Run? Oh, it's a another oh, RPG. It's great. Oh, honey. It's a great game. I need oh, to love oh, me some Shadowrun. Oh, I'm honey. sorry. I only got into D and D two years ago. I didn't have much experience with anything. I've only uh, ever other played World of Darkness. So, 
you we're would gonna, not hate learning Dr Shadow Run. It's a fun game. We're gonna we're gonna have to introduce him at yeah. some point. But anyway, we'll have to have like a holiday right holiday special where we run like a one of Shadow Ooh. Run game or something. Okay. Um. Good. Now we're yeah, on Arrow. Miyasa. Yeah. All right. So I am going to uh, draw my. And approaching Cyan Wrath, I will just smile and say in Draconic, Hello, Beastie. And I'm going to make my roll here. Come on. Let's go. Dab. All right. That will be a, a 21 total. Mm -hmm. Woo, that's a good look of damage. Oh, no, that was the, the hit. Yeah, you hit. That's, that was the hit. That's and I have an ally. I have an ally within five you feet. You do, yes, Ash. Sneak attack! Sneak attack! Uh, get him in the gizzard. All right, so that is going to be five, seven, ten, fourteen points of gravity. He is severely wounded, significantly hey. wounded, I should say. All right, Aldrin. And then, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, hold on. Okay, hold whoa, on. whoa. Let me slow my roll. Uh, I'm going to use my Master of Tactics ability, which is my mastermind, one of my mastermind abilities. It allows me to use the help action as a bonus action. Um, so the next person who hits Cyan Wrath, advantage on your roll. Aldrin oh. likes you. <laughs> oh. Older never thought he would like a drow, much less. But here he is liking a drow. All right, Aldrin, you're up. You get advantage. Using, uh, using the opening uh, that Miyasa is giving me, as I approach and draw my blade, I will say to the half dragon, <sighs> That's the problem with you, chromatics. Always so proud, never understand the power of teamwork. And then I'm going to strike at him. Good luck. Always Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> Our friendship and all that. Oh shit, that's a natural twenty. You are gonna do some natural damage. Oh. I, Only because uh, you had the advantage roll from Mayasa. It, it was it was a two and then a twenty. <laughs> that's a pretty good uh, use of your abilities there, Mayasa. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. You are you are the only reason I'm doing this much damage. Hi. Uh, and as my blade strikes into him, I say in Draconic, Bahamut smite thee, and then I will use Divine Smite and <laughs> hit him with an extra 2d8 because of the smite. Ha -ha. Smite, 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 Because I crit, the smite is also doubled. Correct, all dice doubled, add your modifier one. <laughs> okay. That's not as heavy. That is a lot of dice. <laughs> it's 48, so. Uh, 48 does. Mm hmm. Well, 48 for the smite. Uh, so, 17 points of radiant damage. And then 8 points of slashing damage. So, you did 25 total. Yeah. That's pretty nice. ridiculous. Nice. He is severely wounded. Uh, you see him as if he's on his last breath of hope. Uh, he is going to breathe his lightning breath. No, he won't. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> it is a 30-foot line that is 5 feet uh -uh. wide. Uh -uh. He's only going to catch three of you, though. Because... Uh, what? How, how three of us? I well, ran away. Yeah. Well, was it... Vivian, weren't you... Uh, Ranged on your attack? Yeah, I've been ranged. Okay. So he's shooting He's the only one who's ranged. Yeah. So he's shooting it between um Aldrin and Miyasa, because y'all are with y'all are side by side, so y'all are each within his five feet. Oh, okay. And then he's also pointing it at Vivian. Gotcha. So I need the three of you to make a dexterity saving throw. Don't fuck this. Uh, Fourteen? Thirteen. <laughs> I rolled a nap. All right. 
So I'm hearing a lot of grunting, but actually only Miyasa, you're taking 22. Only 22. Okay. And okay. Sally I'm still up. and Aldrin are taking 11. Oh. Jesus. You said you got to a 13, right? Yeah. 13 was the DC. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah. So. Got, yeah. got nine. Nine. Oh, breath weapons. I am at 14. That's better than being at three. Yeah. <laughs> Which is I, I, got some, I got some healing for you once we yeah. get out of this. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, All right. Everybody Daddy. heal the drow. <laughs> so I am going to let the bodyguard dudes move up now that they've kind of Figured out what's going on. They're, I'll count them as a ready action. They weren't technically surprised, so they move up, but they're not going to fight this turn until their natural turn comes around. All right, so we're back to Vivian. You just took a big lightning blast, Vivian, That's from going. a nasty-looking... Yeah. And then just retaliate with, a, uh, with another arrow strike. Real quick, uh, you are concentrating on Hunter's Mark. Oh, you're right. So oh, I'll have to roll no. for... Gotta make oh, a 10. No. To, to be fair, oh, to be no. fair. Add your con. What? Everyone was like, oh, oh no, roll something, and that's it. You just have to get a, a 10 on a d20 row, and you get to add your con. Mm -hmm. Well, I got it. Hey. 12. All right, Woo. and let's see here. Let's go aim with the arrow. Bro. That is a... Plus seven, so seven. So at twenty total. That's a hit. All right, cool. And now one d eight plus three. That's a two. Plus two plus three is five. So five plus four is nine damage total. The blue dragon gurgles blood from its mouth. A blue half dragon as it collapses forward. Uh, you're not sure if it's dead or only unconscious, but either way, it is out of this combat. It's like ow, barrel. <laughs> as we're as we're all still like jittering from the lightning. Yes, yeah. Rannis, <laughs> you are a spider on a dead thing's tail. What are you doing? I'm gonna move to one of the berserkers and bite down. <laughs> oh my god, this is the most Bite badass toe! spider. Oh, almost a natural 20. Oh. Uh, unnatural, though. It is so. a hit, though. I'll say a hit on Berserker number two. I will I, I will say, this is the brave little spider that could. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I need, he takes one point of damage, and then I need a con save of nine. 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 Okay. Nine. They have con plus three. Healthy boys. Roll low, roll low, roll low, roll low. Do it. No, 19. So oh. one point of damage? Yep, one point of damage. All right. We take this. Carrick. And then bonus giant... action. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Gonna... It's fine. Bonus action, I'm going to drop spider form. Ooh. So a druid just bursts up out of the ground. Oh, the sun. Oh, there's Ramus. Where'd you okay. go, bro? That, right. that confused me for a moment. I thought you were talking about the like, wizard-looking guy from earlier. It's like, how the hell did he get here? Uh, oh, man, that's, that freaked magic. me out for a moment. <laughs> well, speaking of that guy... No, just kidding. Okay, so yeah. Karen... <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> yeah. All, All right, right Karen, on up. the berserker who was not damaged, I'd like to cast uh, Crown of Madness. Ooh, uh, he needs to make a DC 12... Uh, wisdom saving throw. Wisdom. They do wisdom. not have a bonus to that. He made a six on his roll. All right. So the humanoid of my choice in range must make a wisdom saving throw. While the target is charmed this way, a twisted crown of jagged iron appears on his head. Uh, the charmed target must use its action before moving on each of its turns to make a melee attack against a creature other than itself that you mentally choose. I choose the one that just got bitten. <laughs> uh, and then the target can act normally on its turn if I choose no creature within range. Uh, so I'd like him to move up and hit his buddy uh, as much as possible. 
But he does get to make a save at the end of each of his turns thereafter to uh, beat it. And it'll be the 12 wisdom. So he is charmed and will attack his buddy on his turn. Whoop. Which is now. Uh, Berserker slap fight. Berserker slap fight. And also just to say, I'm going to move a little bit out of the way of my buddies. I'm going to move along the wall a little more. Just a wee bit. Okay. So it gets to make a new roll at the end of each of its turns. So it's going to definitely attack now. So this will be the Charmed Berserker making its Crit. first attack. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, hey. Let's go! He crits his friend. Oh as friends do. Because think about it. If he's your best friend, don't you really know where to hit him with a sword after all those Man. years of being together? So the damage on that is... Oh, it's 16. on the back of his leg. So he takes 16 slashing damage. Oh, that's bad. That's meaty. Yeah. Glad he did that and not us. Right. <laughs> yeah. And the <laughs> other berserker, though, ignoring his friend attacking him, is swinging at the druid that just popped up in his face. No. That's fine. Correction. Glad it wasn't me. <laughs> what is your uh, armor class, Rannis? Uh, 16. Ooh. Oh, you're fine. That's a good one. Is it though? Is it We'll see. <laughs> see, look. Only a seven. Yeah, it's fine. So the one that's charmed gets to roll to try to break charm. What's the difficulty check? Twelve. Uh, wisdom check. Oh! He's out. He's free. Wow! He, he yeah. but it was still good. He critted his friend it's first. Just, it's just hot and cold. I right, Mayasa. Mm-hmm. You see some chaotic okay. fighting going on. What are you going to do? Um, pull out the popcorn that I've had hidden this entire time. Oh, my God. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> um, I'm actually going to bonus action disengage and move back with... Um... You're actually not in melee range. Yeah. Uh, unless it's the Theater of the Mind. The Berserkers moved oh, okay. up on Carrick and... On Ron, Ramis, Ranis. Okay. You're okay, further. So you're that's... about five feet, ten feet from them. Okay. So uh, I won't disengage. I'll just move back to where Vivian is and yes. pull out my short bow. Yes. Do it. Uh, All right. Double yes. bow time. Yes. And take aim at the berserker that just got the shit slapped out of him. <laughs> that's berserker two. Uh, I don't think that's gonna hit. They don't have a lot of armor uh, class. Be naked. Uh, <laughs> naked. It's a total of eleven. That's not gonna hit. Sorry. Yeah. So I'm a little, I'm a little woozy, guys. Okay, I'm a little woozy. Um, okay. and then I will, cause my, again, my uh, master tactics ability allows uh-huh. me, as long as the creature is within thirty feet. Which it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am going to give the next person advantage on the attack against the Berserker. Man, Aldrin, you found your new best friend. <laughs> All right, Aldrin, you're up. I I will trust her her advice. It guided me well last time. And I will rush the Berserker and slash at him. Ooh. Uh. Oh. Get him, Aldrin. Oh, beans. Oh. Uh, 13? 13 is a hit. Oh, hey! Uh, I rolled two eights. <laughs> oh. uh, we got nine points of slashing damage. And this is on the one that's injured already? Yeah. Berserker 2? Mm-hmm. Okay. He doesn't... Yep. He looks injured, but not even halfway yet. These guys have some hit points. Okay. Let's do it. We're back to the top, and Vivian, you're up. All right, cool. Since the uh, the lizard guy, dragonborn thing, was down, half dragon guy, I'm gonna move my hunter's mark to the uh, to the uh, berserker that everyone's hitting at. That's your bonus action. Did you make your con check earlier? I did earlier. Yeah. You made it. Okay. 
Yeah, so I'm moving it from there to the... Uh... Oh, I need to make one as well. Or never mind, I didn't get hit, did I? Nope. You're a sneaky little Spider-Man. So, I'm going to attempt to hit it with the bow, and that is not going to do anything. Okay. That was, that was a four? Yeah, I'm just going to be like... Trying to grab the arrow out, but I'm like just struggling with that. So, Ronis, you have a berserking dude in your face. He's a half orc looking fella, and he is swinging swords at you. Yeah, I'm going to bonus action wild shape again, but this time I'm going to become a dire wolf. Oh fuck! And I have, I have an ally within five feet of me. Yes. So I get pack tactics. Smart man. Uh, yeah. Fourteen. Bless you. Thank you. Great. Yeah, fourteen to hit. Yes. These okay. guys don't have a lot of armor class. I mean, enough that the range the range people can't hit them, but everybody else can. Yeah. Can't hit for shit apparently. Big puppy. So eight points of damage. And then I need a strength saving throw. And this is the same one that's been injured? Correct. Well, they are strong. They have plus three to that. I, I imagine he's terrible at this. Absolutely. Awful. He made it 15. Yep, that makes it. Okay. Beans. But it did take eight damage, though. Yeah. Ain't nothing to sneeze at. No. That's a solid lick. Vivian, Rannis, Carrick the Tribeard! Good, Tribeard. <clears throat> Hit him with one of your three beards. Carrick, interrupting the combat, you receive a sending spell message. Oh, shit. It is from your mother <laughs> asking if you've seen one of your brothers. He's apparently missing. You have 25 words. You can respond as your action, or you can try to wait till after the combat. Yeah, I'm going to leave her on scene, even though I know she's <laughs> <laughs> oh, leaving mom on red. All right, continue with the combat. Right. Uh, let's do the double daggers thing and see if I invested wisely in my advance. Dagger, dagger. Roger, roger. Uh oh, my Discord is frozen. Oh my Crit. God! Oh! All right, so it's gonna be two D fours from the dagger and two D sixes from me using my okay. uh, defensive. So, while the Discord was frozen, he critted, catching the audience up. Oh, it's I love you, man. We're hot and cold today. Crit, miss, crit. That's uh, awesome. I think hey, I hit the DC. You crit miss, and then you crit. hit again. Thank you very much. Fair. I'm I'm always hot though. And you're <laughs> double fours. Arrow, death. No arrow, no death. Wow, that's about Holy the max. Shit. That's about yeah. the max damage you could do, dude. Right, Twenty so, damage whoa. with a dagger. I don't damage remember seeing dagger straight. Yeah, up. two with daggers dagger doing beans. twenty damage. <laughs> All right, and what's cool about that is I get eleven to my AC, so I'm finally un. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so we're wild. back on the berserkers. Yeah. All right, oh, awesome, so now they awesome. are. Um, oh, go ahead. It, for for the me being hot all night, if not for the advantage, I would have hit miss, hit miss. Yes. <laughs> so. And you would have missed a couple of crits probably. Yeah. I got you, boo. I got you. Thanks. All right, this is plus five. So Ranus, you take a hit for nine damage, splashing damage. Oh my god. It's five thirty seven as a dog. Oh yeah, you're a fucking you're a dog now. And I guess who would be the Come other one? Come at me, Aldrin? bro. Come at me. Aldrin, you're getting one from the other one. Whoa, but <laughs> fifteen plus five is a twenty, is that a hit? Yeah. So you take nine good. slashing damage. Beans. Uh, bark bark. Alright. Mayasa, you are seeing your f new friends getting slashed up, including your new dog friend, who was a spider a minute ago. Puppy! <laughs> Don't hurt oh, the no. puppies! Don't hurt the puppies! No, this is a normal Tuesday night in the under. 
What are you talking about? Like, we do this for fun. Yeah, <laughs> puppies always get beat up. Yeah, the Underdark's are not a nice place. No. They kick puppies in the Underdark. Yeah, like, yeah, what is this? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna aim, I'm gonna aim again at the Berserker, and... The injured one, or the one that hadn't been hit yet? <laughs> the injured one. The yeah. one that we've been hitting, because he needs to die, like yesterday. The one that is dying. The one that we've all been attacking. You know, that one. I can't, yeah, no, I can't, mm-mm, no. Fusco's poison. Poison for Fusco. No. Uh yeah, no, I whiff again, but I will do my mastermindy advantage non Kill him! Kill him dead. Who'd you use it on? Uh well it's the help action, so it's whoever's next in line. Oh, okay. Working on it. <laughs> kill kill him! Just you see the weak spot in the armor? Yes, go for that. What armor? He's got big he's got big chesticles. Aim there. Alright. Aim for the chesticles. <laughs> the, 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 the 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 titties, the pillow titties, aim for them. I ignore her last comment. <laughs> well, well, well. I aim for his chest. I just like huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 18 to hit. Hit. Ooh, we got... Oh, that's good damage. Uh, 12 slashing damage. He is extremely wounded. Ah! Kill him! And we're back to Vivian. Arrow! That is gonna hit. Then you killed it! Plus five. Yay! Once again, another gurgle of blood, as yet again you have slain a fierce and mob. Hunter, and I moved my hunter's mark to the other guy. As your bonus action. Yes. You're getting last hits on all these guys. You're like an AD carry. Yes. Alright. Hey man, as long as the thing's dead, we're good. Kill secured. Rannis, the werewolf. That's important, so no more nine damage is coming out of that guy. Got you, buddy. That is a 19 to hit. That's a hit. Four, six plus three. So nine more points. And another strength save. Making a strength save. They get plus three. Damn. I feel like I should see 13. One of those, one of those toy ro uh, bows just to have on camera. Oh, natural Ooh. 20. How many natural 20s have we had in this session? We it's been have, a lot tonight. Crit. It's a night yeah. of crit. I, I think that's more than we've had like in the game. <laughs> All told, right? Yeah. So far. It's, uh, it's a they're, night of critical rolling. On. Yeah. Get my joke? And they're rolling on the on the roll twenty screen, so it's is not it lying. Thursday yet? Is it Thursday yet, critters? Yeah. I know. Alright, so good. You You're up. Carrick. Or how much damage did you do, Rannis? I missed that part. Nine. Nine? That's the Nine. first damage Nine. this guy's taken. Uh oh. We got a long way to go on this boy. Yeah, but y'all are gonna knock it out. Okay, you're up, Carrick. Uh, yeah, I don't want him to crit again, so let's go to, over to Dissonant Whispers. I need a DC 12 uh, wisdom save, and I'm going to say, hey, nice, nice chesticles there. <laughs> he does not Chest. like the chesticles joke and <laughs> fails his saving throw. That's a cursed phrase. Hashtag chesticles. All right, so three psychic damage, and he has disadvantage on his next attack. Oh, that's okay. That was vicious mockery, not this in the western. Pass oh, without a trace drops, by the way. What drop? Pass without a trace. I was still concentrating, but now I'm not. Ah, uh, mm. unfortunately. Okay. He will roll at the werewolf in his face. That's probably the most obvious, but he gets disadvantage now, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Well, he's missing. His, ah, his first roll is a two, and his second roll is a two. two. Oh. He is upset and misses, and you guys can kill this guy. Let's do it. Go, Mayasa. Right, everyone, everyone, make fun of his, te of his testicles. It's oh, working. Make fun of his titties. <laughs> He's got tiny titties. He should be ashamed. Ugh. Language. There we go. There we go. All right, that's a 19. 
That's a hit. Alright, that will be 11 points piercing. Nice. Beautiful work. Aldrin. And help, help, help to Aldrin. Yeah. Am I slashing at his chest again? Yes! Okay. It's the least armored bit. Go for it. 16 bit. That's a hit. Eight points of slashing damage. He is definitely on the way down. Fantastic. And we're back to Vivian. Cool. Can I kill him again? <laughs> it would take a lot of crits right now. Well, that's going to be an 18 plus 5 to hit. So, plus what five. is... Don't you have a higher to hit because of archery? Oh, I'm sorry. Plus 7. Sorry. Yes, you hit. Yeah. Uh, so, it's going to be a 1d8 plus 3. That is a 1 plus 3, so that's a 4. That's Man. not going to kill him. Yeah, 4 plus... 4 is 8. Hey... That, that got that got more respectable, but not enough. Yeah. All right, oh, Rannis the werewolf. So he's close. Like he's like a wolf. But Nineteen, is. so twenty-three to hit. Or, I'm sorry, twenty-two. That's a hit. These guys are lightly armored with hide armor. For thirteen points of damage and in our strength save. He is severely well, wounded at this point. Well, another two. That'd be funny. He oh, made damn it. it. <laughs> he made his saving throw. That's okay. not funny. Carrick, you're up. All right. Uh, you need to do 15, 15 damage, Carrick, or he gets an attack. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to. Uh, here comes two stabs, though. Mess him up. Ooh. Uh, one will hit. Three damage. <laughs> Three damage is not going to kill him. So he is going to swing at Aldrin this time. Trying to spread the love out, everybody. Everybody get some love. And a big miss. Woo. Oh. He would have taken me down if he would have hit. So. Yeah. Mayasa. Mayasa. Hey, you might get a killing blow yet, Vivian. Hey, ready for one. Maybe. <laughs> Sally, yeah, you might. I'm... One of you girls is gonna kill him. Hey, you know what? I'm I'm actually I'm going to invoke inspiration and get advantage on the roll. Smart. You are definitely inspiring the audience. Oh. Ooh. All right. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, I got an 18 and a 19, so... For your hit? That is, yes. Yes. So that is one arrow coming straight to the face. Come on. Arrow, arrow, arrow. Big money. No whammies. Big money. No whammies. I dropped one of my sneak attacks. There we go. Okay. Hey, that is a solid... And a ham. Four, eight, twelve, fifteen total. With a gurgle of blood, he is also dead. Woo! And with relief, you hear and see no further uh, danger at the moment. Uh, the chamber you're in has been enlarged and reshaped from its original form. The floor and three of the walls are smooth, uh, and stalactites and stalagmites have been polished into gleaming columns. Every surface gleasons with moisture, and the air is warm and humid. Uh, the flat walls of the chamber are decorated with shallow abstract drawings and carvings of dragons. Dragon tails coil into intricate patterns and knots that flow across the walls. The creatures portrayed in the northwest corner stands out. It's a five-headed dragon rising from an erupting volcano. Other dragons, which seem dwarfed by the five-headed monstrosity, flock to its side. A small wooden chest with silver and mother-of-pearl inlay sits on the floor in the corner in front of the monstrous dragon carving. And this is where we will begin next week. Awesome. Ooh. Yay! 
Sorry again for the technical difficulties. Uh, next week, I'm hoping to have... I bought a t-shirt from Burn. Did you know oh, I bought a shirt from you, Burn? Hey. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Why don't you spend the moment, Burn, and pitch your t-shirt? Now you can infiltrate Yeah, it. so uh, I design a game t-shirt. Uh, and it just in general, just cool designs. I'm a graphic designer, been a graphic designer for a while. If you go to burnthegamer.threadless.com uh, you can see what I got there and there should be a code at the top I got free shipping at the moment if you order over a certain amount uh, so you know, buy stuff, I'd appreciate it thank you very much, Hopefully, appreciate it Frank I will have that shirt next week to show everybody and brag on you and I know Sally does commissioned artwork as well yep, do, I uh, do artwork and everything and, well, and everything for money, this, come on I, I do I do everything <laughs> And what about any of you guys selling anything online? Anybody else in the group? Uh, you can check out. Um, I have some really cool, like, pop culture pagan uh, rosaries and little magical talismans available uh, on my Etsy store. If you check out on Facebook, uh, search for Chaos Fox and you will find me. Um, I also do tarot readings for Mondays. So if you. You need your fortune told. That sounds fun. That is fun. And uh, Squatch, Nick, either of y'all make money on the internet? I have a Twitch stream. You can catch me at twitch.tv slash real squatch. I occasionally stream there. Cool. Right. I'll follow you there. I, uh, I also uh, stream Dungeons and Dragons uh, Sundays. 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, it's a homebrew game, nothing Adventures League. No, uh, so homebrew's great. It's really cool, though. Yeah, um, I'll have to check that and, out. I've been meaning yeah. to. Yeah, it's, uh, they're, they're level two so far. They're still babies. Uh, babies. They're in the sewers currently. Uh, just and interacted with the wear at. So. At some point, I think we're going to stream some extra games on this channel as well, so we can meet yeah. the, the requirements. Eventually. Yeah, there's like a you have to stream so many days a month to meet the patron requirement or whatever. Get get some more content out for the yeah, definitely. Folks and... I need to get the uh, technical difficulties worked out. I will play with Roll Twenty a lot between now and next week to see if I can figure out why yep. that happened, and hopefully that uh, won't happen again. Yep, and uh, hopefully the videos will be uploaded as well. Yeah. yeah. All right, great everybody. It was a fun week anyway, even with the technical difficulties, and we will be back next Monday at uh, seven six. What time do we play? 7, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm in Central. That's why I didn't think about it. Okay. Yeah, great. I'm Central too, but. All right. Have a great, safe week out there, guys.